guys, it just started raining so hard. Can you see it? Oh, lightning. And I got myself a new felt tip liner and I tried to do the wings that I was telling you I hate doing because I suck at. Did I like fail miserably or do they look okay? What do you think? What do you think? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's so good to have you here with me today. I am so blessed that you guys have been showing up to this channel to subscribe and like and comment and things like that. I've been so excited, you have no idea. It makes my entire day when I get a notification from YouTube. I'm like, ah, yay! Okay, so my makeup is a little crazy today, but just bear with me. Some days you feel like just dressing up and just feeling fancy. Today was that day for me, except I'm wearing house shoes <laughs> and shorty shorts because, you know, it's like being a news anchor. You only have to dress from here up and I love that. We're going to show you today 12 of my favorite things. I am so excited to show you these things because these are things that have really held me strong to keto. They've helped me to really do this and stick to it. So I wanted to show you these things because a lot of you guys ask like, what do I eat? What do I do? What do I use? Etc. Etc. And I want to make sure that I'm showing you these things so that you can put them into your own life, you know, maybe if you want to try them. So, yeah, let's get to it. We're going to show... Blah, 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 blah. Woo, slow down, Beth. We're going to show you 12 things today that I use all the time. So, here we go. Okay, so the first couple of things are going to be things that I use to bake with or cook with. So, yeah, you know, a lot of baking and cooking goes into the keto diet because you're having to do things from scratch um, because you just can't go pick up a box this quick and make pancakes you got to come up with your own thing which I have a keto recipe video that I showed you how to make keto pancakes so I'll put that up here for you guys or over here uh, I think it's this side this side this side I'll put it right here for you guys to watch and yeah so go watch that but wait till this video is over and like and subscribe here is the very first thing that I use. I use Erythritol. Um, this is a brand, the Now brand. I got this from Amazon. I don't remember how much it costs, but I'll put it in the description box, the link, um, to order this for yourself. It's really good stuff. It's not very good for, like, drinks and putting it into tea or coffee or things like that because it's, like, grainy. But it's still really delicious. Um, this is a sweetener that does not spike your blood sugar. All artificial sweeteners are not made the same. Some spike your blood sugar, some do not. This is one that does not. So this is gonna be eight grams of carbs and all eight of that comes from the erythritol itself. So this won't spike your blood sugar. You don't have to count this into your total carbs in your day or your net carbs in your day. It's definitely something you have to count in total carbs, but not your net carbs. The next thing that I use to bake with is almond flour. I love almond flour. I also use coconut flour, but I definitely don't use it as much as I use almond flour. This is something I use to make um, pancakes, cookies, um, you know, you can use it to make bread and things like that. This is the one I got from Walmart. As you can see, the Great Value logo there. Um, there is a better brand that I prefer, really, but it's like a couple dollars more, so this is the one that I usually go with. Um, the other brand is Nature's Eats, and it's just really good stuff. This one, um, you do have to sift it pretty good to make sure that you don't get any chunks because almond flour is not like regular flour. You need to sift it. But the other version, the Nature's Eats version, I don't have to sift it at all. So there's a little bit of a difference in price, but also a difference in quality. So choose wisely. I do like this stuff a lot. Um, ooh, don't drop it. It is a, a low carb food, but it is definitely not a no carb food. So be careful when you're using it because you can go overboard. I use this to make my keto pizza and it's just really good stuff guys really good another sweetener that i use is the monk fruit sweetener this one is lanketo monk fruit sweetener monk fruit sweetener this stuff is really good for teas and coffees and things because it's very fine and it abs absorbs what is the word i'm looking for help me out here dissolves dissolves that's the word it dissolves really well so it's really good stuff. It's also four sugar alcohols and four total carbs. So it winds up being a zero carb because this is also a sweetener that will not spike your blood sugar at all. So these are diabetic safe and keto safe. So yeah, monk fruit sweetener. I got this at a store, but I know you can get this brand on Amazon. The next thing is bone broth. Now you can use this for cooking and baking, 
I use it more just to drink. Um, if I'm going through the keto flu and I'm not feeling so hot and I don't want to put anything food wise in my belly, this is something I would just pour right into a cup, throw in the microwave, heat up, and then drink like a broth and it's so good I really like it these are it's really tasty um, and it is incredibly good for gut health especially during the keto flu so you know using this for keto flu symptoms or just any day life eating it drinking it whatever you want to do I have a friend who makes this into soup she puts like mushrooms and things like that in it so you know whatever you want to do with bone broth is it's very versatile but this is the one that I've been using it's a pretty cheap brand but I got this at Publix I don't remember how much it was I think it was like five or six bucks so yeah all right so one other thing that I use is barbecue sauce this is the G Hughes I always want to say this wrong so let's make sure look it's been sitting out of the fridge so it's starting to because I've been sitting here doing this and starting to get gross looking Ugh. um yeah G Hughes this is the sugar-free barbecue sauce in hickory um, it is total two carbohydrates there are no dietary fiber and no added sugar but you do have to count those carbs so it's gonna wind up being a two carb uh, per serving which is two tablespoons but it is so worth it we use this on um, barbecue hamburger like we make hamburgers with bacon and cheese and we put this on it it's so delicious we use this with chicken in the crock pot and make like pulled chicken you can make pulled pork with this this stuff is really tasty and it's got a lot of really good ingredients in it and nothing crazy and no actual sugar so yeah that's a good brand you can pick that up at Publix Walmart most stores are seeming to carry this brand now they also make um, ketchup sugar-free ketchup it's okay I like the Heinz sugar-free ketchup better but this stuff's pretty good now we're gonna move on to favorite keto snacks and this is something right here now this is not something I would consider a snack more of a treat because you don't want to have too many of these in a day now with that being said things like this usually cause gastric distress like um, you know lots of gas and sometimes people have like diarrhea and things from keto sweets or sweets with artificial sugars this did not do this to me it absolutely did not have any sort of effect like that on me because it's made with erythritol yes a keto food in the store that's made with erythritol and not maltitol which is incredibly hard to come by so slim fast keto fat bombs slim fast you have done it you have outdone yourself. When you made this, you broke the whole keto market out there in the stores because it seems like every time we go to a store to get a keto treat or something that's sugar-free treat, they're not keto because if you go down your candy aisle at Walmart or Publix or Target or wherever and you look for a keto, like a candy that's sugar-free, you're going to find maltitol everywhere. Now, this is not a sugar video, so I'm not going to tell you all about the sugars, but I will say this. If you read the back of a package and the ingredients are maltitol, stay away from it. That will spike your blood sugar. This is something that you will find in Hershey's, Reese's, all of the different like um, candy brands, Russell Stover's even. A lot of people you see, they grab those up and they eat them. They wonder why they're falling out of ketosis. With that being said, some people do not fall out of ketosis because of maltitol. So it's just kind of what works for your body. But a lot of people are falling out of ketosis with maltitol. So beware, beware. Uh, even like Atkins bars, they are made with maltitol. But Slim Fast made these little fat bombs right here that are pretty similar to like a Reese cup. Um, but they taste so good they're made with erythritol and they are wonderful because they're not going to spike your blood sugar erythritol is the same sweetener I was just talking about that we use and it's an expensive um, artificial sweetener all the other brands are using maltitol because it's a cheap artificial sweetener they don't have to pay as much for it so they use that instead but slim fast thank you Jesus thank you slim fast for doing this because these are so good. They do not cause any gastric distress for me and my husband, who seems to be very, very um, sensitive to artificial sweeteners, but this did not have any negative effect on either of us. So yeah, awesome. These are six grams per one cup, um, but they are three grams dietary fiber, two grams of erythritol. So you're going to take those five grams of things out and that's going to leave you with one net carb. 
They are nine grams of total fat and one gram of protein. I wouldn't really consider them a, they say fat bomb. I don't know if I would consider it a fat bomb or not, but they're made with MCT oil. So that's excellent because MCT oil is very good for your health. It is a clarified coconut, purified coconut oil. And these, you know, they're just really good. And they have really good ingredients. I was so pleased. Yes, they're $11, nine to $11, depending on where you go, but they are so worth it to me. The next keto snack item that I like to keep around are almonds. These are the Blue Diamond Wasabi and Soy Sauce version, which they're really good, they're tasty. They are six grams total, or total carbs, um, three grams dietary fiber, so you take out the three of that, it leaves you with three. So they're gonna be three net carbs for a serving, which is about 28 nuts or a fourth of a cup. But I really love to have these on hand. They're really good to put in a little baggie and take with me. I really like this flavor. I also like the smokehouse flavor. It's really, really tasty. Um, just make sure that when you're getting almonds like this, especially the flavored ones, you get one that is not sweetened because some of them are sweetened, especially the ones like um, honey roasted and things like that. Those are, those are sweetened. They have sugar in them. They're going to be a much higher carb count. So watch out for those things. On to keto drink mixtures and things like that. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is not a food. This is my little, um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, what do you call this? Coffee frother, drink frother mixer situation. I got this off of Amazon and I've only ever used this one time, which was this morning, but I loved it. So normally when I make my coffee, I put it into my like ninja blender type uh, magic bullet like this. I don't know. They, they make them. They're all over the place. These drink mixtures. Anyway, that's how I usually make my coffee so that the heavy whipping cream really gets in there or the butter, whatever I'm using that day. But I bought this little guy and it works perfect. You just put it down in your cup and you like froth it up and it's so good for that. I mean, look how fast that guy moves. This is the brand Bonson Kitchen. It was $8.99 on Amazon and I really like it so far. I'll let you know if anything goes wrong with it or if it breaks, but... I just, it seems really sturdy and durable, so I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. It came with batteries, so I was kind of excited about that. The next thing I like to put in my drinks, if I'm making tea, coffee, things like that, I use the MCT oil. Now, this is the Rapid Fire brand, and I've only ever found this at one Walmart, and it was in a two-pack for $11.88, which is really not a bad price at all. And, you know, I go through this stuff so slowly because you don't use very much of it. But this is for coffee shakes. Um, you can use it to cook with. It's a wonderful source of fat. It's clarified coconut oil. It's just wonderful, awesome stuff. And it has literally no taste. So that's a plus when you put it in a drink or a food or a coffee or anything like that. It's not going to have a weird taste. So you could throw this into your protein shakes that are, you know, low carbs. And it would be really good for uh, bumping up your fat ratio throughout your day. My next thing that I like to put into um, my coffee, so this would fall under the drink category, is sweeteners. Um, I really like the sugar-free Tarani, sugar-free vanilla, um, so I almost said sauce. This is a syrup. Zero carbs, zero sugar, zero everything. So you can use as much as you want of this, I guess. And it's not going to affect your macros. Um, I was using the Starbucks version for a minute, but it wound up being two grams of carbs per one tablespoons. So, I mean, it's good stuff. It works really well, but it, it's got carbs in it, so I didn't really love that. This is another of the syrups that I picked up. I got this one at the Dollar Tree, so I wasn't really giving it a lot of, like, hope. I was kind of scared for it, but it wound up being extremely good, and it's also zero carbs, zero everything, completely zeroed out. The next thing that I'm going to show you is my mixtures that I put into my water. The, oh dear. These are very similar to like the Mio's and uh, the ones that I bought at Walmart that are also like Mio. This is the Kroger version. These are super tasty. This one is the um, fruit punch version and it's just for vitamins so it's going to be like a Powerade. Um, it's going to have electrolytes and stuff like that so it's really good for when you're going through the keto flu. This one is the cherry limeade and it's energy so it's going to have caffeine in it which is very good for me. I love to have a caffeinated drink throughout my day because I get tired, bogged down really fast so these are good um, to have if you want maybe if you want this one for a little bit of a sweetness if you're craving something sweet go ahead and have that or if you are able to have some caffeine these are really yummy so enjoy 
So those are my keto favorites that I have to show you today. The last thing I want to show you has nothing to do with keto, but check it out. I got myself some blue blocking glasses. I got these off of Amazon. The brand, I think, is TJIF. And T T J I. Oh my gosh! So heads up, I'm just gonna throw this in here. Um, here is the glasses brand that I'm talking about right here. These little guys, they are T I J N. T I J N is the name of the glasses brand that I picked up. So yeah, back back to the video. Carry on, Beth. Anyway, I got these off of Amazon. I don't really like pink usually, but these were like a clear gold pink color, so I really like that. And they're supposed to block blue light. As you can see, they're really reflective. They're not for wearing every day, all day, but they are for wearing when you're on the computer or you're editing or you're watching videos on your TV, anything that has blue light in it, which is like a phone screen, TV screen, etc. It blocks blue light so it can help with like migraines. Well, it's so weird to take them off because then everything looks blue for a second. But it blocks the light. Let's see if I can. Can you see how it's kind of yellow? I don't know. Does that work? They're clear. You can't see any of that reflecting that you're seeing. I don't see it through my actual glasses. But they're really excellent for getting rid of headaches or helping with migraines like what I get all the time. So, I mean, you know, maybe you want to give these a shot. If you just Amazon or Google the words blue light blocking glasses, you'll find these. And I'll give you a review of these in a couple of weeks after I've used them. Last night I had a horrible migraine headache, wound up using these and it helped a lot. This has been my favorites video for keto 12 favorite things. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Put it in the comments down below what you think. Do you want to see something different? Let me know what you want to see. Do you want me to show you something I cook? Um, I was thinking about doing chicken tenders, so yeah, we're going to see if that works out. Oh my gosh, guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. Everybody have a wonderful day. No, have a magical day, and I will see you so soon. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the rain I was just telling you about. Don't mind my nasty porch. I live in a hundred and something year old house. Anyway, um, so the rain that I was just telling you about, the thunder and the rain and the lightning, we're under a tornado warning. I'm sketched out. Okay, so sketchy, so sketchy. So I don't like storms, I hate storms. I get so bad anxiety in a storm. But yeah, this is Georgia for you. We're starting the tornado season off right. Oh boy. Oh my God, I love these glasses, they're so fun. It makes me feel smart, like, what are you doing?